Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Seattle Kraken at Buffalo Sabres Game 39 recap. And on back-to-back -back nights, the Buffalo Sabres lose at home. Last night they lost to the Philadelphia Flyers 4-0. Tonight they lose to the Seattle Kraken 4-3. And they're 0-4 against the Seattle Kraken lifetime. The Seattle Kraken are only a year and a half years old. And the Buffalo Sabres cannot beat them. Uh, they lost twice to them last year and twice to them this year. Uh, to go 0-4 against the Seattle Kraken. So the Buffalo Sabres fall to 2016-2. On this season so let's recap this uh, goals Seattle 4 Buffalo 3 shots Seattle only 22 Buffalo 35 so Buffalo outshot Seattle uh, but only scored three goals uh, block shots Seattle 13 Buffalo 4 hits Seattle 21 Buffalo 16 face off Seattle 36 Buffalo 29 Power plays, Seattle was one for one, Buffalo one for four on the power play. They need to fix that. Uh, if they'd have scored on a couple of those, we would have won this game, you know. And Eric Comrie's first game back, and uh, he takes a, a loss. I think they uh, they sent Uko Pekalukan into Rochester because he's sick, but I think they need to bring Uko Pekalukan back up and send Comrie down. Uh, and leave them there. Uh, penalty minutes. Seattle 10, Buffalo 4. Scoring. So let's let's uh, let's recap this right now. Here we go. Scoring. In the first period at 9.56, it was Buffalo's Alex Tuck. His 19th of the season, assisted by Tage Thompson, his 26th. And Jeff Skinner, his 23rd. And it's one nothing Buffalo. And then at 18.52, it was Seattle's Jordan Eberle, uh, his 10th of the season on the power play, assisted by Andre Burakovsky, his 23rd, and after one, it's 1-1. One, one. And then in the second period, at 5.12, it was Buffalo's Rasmus Dahlin, his 13th of the season on the power play, assisted by Jeff Skinner, his second of the year, his 24th. Or his second of the game, his 24th of the season, and Dylan Cousins, his 25th of the season. And it's 2-1 to one Sabres. And I thought, well, you know, maybe they have a shot. And then at 8.59, it was Seattle's Yanni Gord, his 6th of the season, assisted by Justin Schultz, his 18th, and Oliver Bjorkstrand, his 13th. And after two, it's a 2-2 two -two hockey game. And then... At 517, it was uh, Seattle's Justin Schultz, his fifth unassisted. Uh, and it's 3-2 to two. Seattle. They scored another goal, but it's not showing here. And then at 1938, it was Buffalo's Alex Tuck. His second of the game, his 20th of the season, assisted by Rasmus Dahlin, his 33rd. And Dylan Cousins, his second of the game, his 26th of the season. And it's a 4-3 Seattle Kraken win over the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Seattle also played last night, just like Buffalo did, but uh, Seattle had to travel. So, you know, they didn't look jet-lagged, but, you know... Uh, now we got to get ready for Winnipeg on Thursday night, and I hope, I sincerely hope they play Uko Pekka Lukanen in that game. Uh, we He gives us the best chance to win right now. He's 9-3-1 so far this year, and he he right now gives us the best chance to win. You know, at first I did like Comrie, and I hope they don't play Comrie because Winnipeg is his former team. Uh, no, I don't want that. We need to play Uko Pekalukan, and he gives us the best chance to win. Penalties in the first period. At 1638, it was Seattle's Carson Soucy, two minutes for holding. And then at 1845, it was Buffalo's Casey Middlestat, two minutes for holding. 
And then in the second period at 157, it was Seattle's Jordan Eberle, two minutes for high sticking. And at 507, it was Seattle's Andre Burakovsky, two minutes for hooking. And then at 1809, it was Buffalo's Jeff Skinner, two minutes for roughing. And at 1809, it was Seattle's Brandon Tanev, two minutes for roughing. And then in the third period at 1415, it was Seattle's Yanni Gore, two minutes for cross checking. So, uh, Buffalo outshoots Seattle 35 22, and Seattle wins the game. <laughs> uh, but we ran into a hot goaltender. Um, and, and, and I said in my preview video, you know, Seattle's a good team, but I wanted to beat them just because we haven't beaten them yet. And we fall to 0 and 4 against the Seattle Kraken. Uh, so hopefully next season, uh, we'll be able to beat the Seattle Kraken, um, as we don't play them again this year. We are done with Seattle. They swept the Buffalo Sabres, so, uh, now we get ready for the Winnipeg Jets who come in at 26-13-1. and Uh, they will be here on Thursday night. They will be in Buffalo, uh. And I sure hope they don't play Eric Comrie just because it's his former team. Uh, he may want to get in there. I, I No, don't play him. Uh, I know it's his former team, but Comrie's not doing that well this year. And we need to play Uko Pekka Lukanen. That's just the bottom line. He gives us the best chance to win. And, you know, it is just... Get well soon, UPL, because we're going to need you right back up here uh, to win us some hockey games. So, uh, congratulations to the Seattle Kraken and their fans. Um, you guys got a good hockey team. You know, uh, I just, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they make the playoffs this year, but I know the Buffalo Sabres are falling fast. Uh, they got to get back on the winning track, beat Winnipeg. Um, and, and then, uh, Nashville on s Saturday night and then Florida on Monday. So they got, they got a tough stretch coming up, but, uh, they can get some wins again. They can get back on the winning track. Um, I know they can beat Nashville. I want to beat Florida, but Florida is a tough team. We're not having much, much success against Florida. So, we got to beat Winnipeg and we got to beat Nashville um, and get back on the winning track, get back to our winning ways. So guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Until my... Uh, Winnipeg Jets at Buffalo Sabres. Pre stay tuned for my uh, Winnipeg Jets at Buffalo Sabres preview and my Winnipeg Jets at Buffalo Sabres recap. And then my Nashville Predators at Buffalo Sa or Buffalo Sabres at Nashville Predators. I'm sorry. Uh, preview and recap. And then my Miami Dolphins at Buffalo Bills. AFC wildcard playoff game preview, halftime report, and recap. So, until my next video, this is Sports Dom saying peace, go Sabres, and let's beat the Jets on Thursday night. We gotta get back on the winning track, and we gotta beat the Jets. Go Sabres.